Well, I've been to CERN many times in the past for individual conferences and for shorter periods, and I was very impressed by uh, the, the, the institution as a place to do research, to meet people, to, to carry out all sorts of different kinds of research. And also, it's in a very beautiful location, so that when one has finished doing mathematics, one can wander around and enjoy the natural beauty of the area. So it seemed a very attractive place to, first of all, organize um, some activities of a mathematical nature, and also to enjoy living here. Well, the theme is in, in thermodynamic formalism, which is a topic which came to the fore in the 1970s, so it's almost uh, 50 years old now. But in recent years, um, it's been going through a renaissance where lots of new ideas have been coming into the topic, and so it seemed very appropriate and timely to have uh, a six-month program devoted to this, beginning with a, um, a summer school and a, a workshop and finishing with a big conference. And we had the opportunity to have lots of interesting people here telling us about their results. Uh, well, the benefits to me are fairly clear. It's a nice place to live and it's a nice place to work. Um, I'm hoping that I interacted uh, quite a bit with the other people here and uh, they, they hopefully also benefit from the participation of people in the conferences, the workshop and visitors. So I, I hope that uh, I've, I've been very affable and interacted sufficiently well with the people here. I think, I think that uh, the, the highlight has been the, uh, the, the conference at the end, the one that's taking place at the moment, uh, and also the summer school near the beginning, which also had a workshop directly after it. Um, so we had um, some very distinguished people. So I mentioned that uh, thermodynamic formalism uh, is, is a theme of the, the program. Well, the title actually originated with uh, David Ruel, who um, attended the workshop. He's now 84. Uh, but many years ago he wrote a famous book which gave the title to the, to the subject. So one of the highlights was having some distinguished uh, people from this area. Uh, but I also like the fact that we managed to, to introduce the subject to lots of younger people. So we had a lot of younger postgraduate students and postdocs, people who I think benefited and, 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 and from, from the program and were encouraged at the beginning of their careers hopefully, uh, to continue with this kind of work. Uh, well, when I get back uh, to England in January, I will be teaching. Um, I hope to, to pursue um, some of the ideas that I've, I've learned from people while I've been here. Um, it's been very active and so consequently I haven't had much time to reflect on all the interesting things I've been told, so I hope to do that when I return to England. Uh, I have plans, uh, well of course there will be a proceedings uh, for, this, uh, for this symposium uh, uh, and uh, I'm actively thinking about what to do with it. Uh, so um, yes, there should be a book. Uh, well I think the, the, the Jean Mollet uh, chair is a, is a very good idea. I've organised um, meetings and symposiums in, in various places around the world for several month periods, but this one is sort of unique in that it gives you an opportunity to actually evolve something, uh, some sort of program, and I think it's a very successful thing which I hope will continue into the future. For future, Jean Mollet, cheers. I, I adore some. I mean, uh, I've been here many times in the past over many decades uh, for, for conferences, and I've always enjoyed coming here. Uh, and particularly impressive at the moment is the uh, large number of wild boar which you can encounter on campus. That's definitely unique for any place I've ever been to. It's very nice. Um, it has a sort of uh, Hansel and Gretel kind of appearance on the outside and it's very comfortable inside. I mean, it's the first time I lived in a house which was so close to the place that I work uh, and also so rural and, and close to the, to the Kalangs, which are so beautiful.